Hi and welcome back to Model Maniacs. Today I will show you how to make your own paint masks for either tires or wheel hubs. First of all, you will need a wheel. And I'm going to use a wheel from a Kubelwagen kit. This is the old Eskis kit because this wheel is quite big and my camera is quite bad. So uh, otherwise you wouldn't see what I'm doing. But uh, then again you need a circle cutter like this one. There are always different kinds and different types. You take what you have. And you need a pair of calipers, like this. You also need the most important, low-tack tape, like this one. Either from Tamayo or any other brand will do. But it has to be low-tack. And if you're not a mathematical genius, you need a calculator, of course. So we take that too. First of all, we will have to decide which wheel and how we are going to mask it. If we are going to mask the wheel hub, then we paint the tire black and let it sit overnight to dry, and then we make a, a mask for the hub only. Then we take a little tape like this one. We should have had a much broader tape because then we wouldn't have to put it together like this, but I don't have any broader tape right now. But this will work fine. Like this. There you go. Then you, then you take the circle cutter and the calipers and then you measure the radius of the the tire or the hub in this case. We're making for the hub first. And the measurement there are two point three. 23 millimeters. Then we need a 22, 23 millimeters here. That should be perfect. We're just making a control measurement. It's better to measure direct on the calipers, of course. Like that. There we have the measurement. Then we can remove this one. Then we just cut into the tape but we don't don't press or lean it in any direction just rotate it in a slow manner like this so that you get an even cut the blade is quite sharp so it will will cut through in the first try but we can take an another round like that now we finish with that we remove the extent like this one like that throw that away and then we have to take this hub up like this. Be sure that you don't mess it up or destroy it in any way. Like this. Now here on this wheel we have a <laughs> problem because the center line in this is raised quite high. That means that we have to make a cross section in this one like this and then we have to mount it onto the hub cap like that have to see to it that it lies perfectly on the hub cap like that but now there's a part sticking out in, in the middle here, so we, we take part of new tape, just a little piece, like that, and put that over, so like that. Problem solved. Here is a painting mask for the, the tile. So if you paint, as you always should, paint the light colors first, paint the yellow inside here, or the pansy gray, whatever, then you put on the, the painting mask and then you paint the tire. That's the, the order of painting that you will do. Now on this wheel here, we d didn't need to do that because we can remove the tire itself. But on small kits you cannot do that. But this is just to show how, how it's done. Okay, so that's for all, all for today. Um, don't forget to look into my YouTube account and see other movies from Model Maniacs. Have a nice day.